Hello, crafty friends. My name is Robin Pitts with Sir Chauncey Rocco Creative Designs. Valentine's Day is right around the corner, and I wanted to share some of my favorite Valentine crafts. So over the next few days, I will be sharing fun projects, tutorials, and maybe even a giveaway or two. For today's project, I've created this beautiful Valentine gift box using a die from Scrap Diva Designs. Now, I had so much fun creating this. This is really easy to put together. The paper collection that I used is by Minte. It's called Chocolate Kiss. This is available at ASC Craft Supplies. You can visit them on the web or their Etsy store. Before I review this box in detail, I'm going to adjust my camera so I can show you some of the items that I used to make this. I used these Valentine Word dies. Now they have two different versions. This one has the Galatine in it and it has the script writing in the shadow. I used this beautiful Valentine banner. I used the double loop bow. Now this die has a small, medium, and large, so this is a great value. I have been using this frequently in my projects. And last but not least, I have been using this tall Valentine gift box. This makes a tall and slender gable box. What I love about this is you have the pieces to make the box, you have the layering pieces to create a shaker, and then you also get these plates. You have lips, you have XOXO, and then you have the hearts. So these make shaker bits. And this is called 3D gift box. All of these dies are available at Scrap Diva Designs. I do have an affiliate code, which means that I will make a small commission when you purchase any of these dies. Now, I will include the affiliate link as well as my coupon code, which is Robin10, in the description box below. And here is Scrap Diva Designs. You can visit her on Instagram as well as YouTube. I really love this project, and although they call it the Valentine 3D gift box, you can use it for any occasion. This measures three and a quarter inches wide, the depth is two inches, and the height is eight inches from the top to the bottom. On the top here, I use the double looped bow die from Scrap Diva Designs, and on the right hand side, you can see all of these decadent desserts that I fussy cut from the Chocolate Kiss paper collection. You've got chocolate macaroons, you've got cupcakes, jelly cookies, and beautiful roses that you'll find throughout the paper collection. I fussy cut this adorable little banner. It's red and it has cute little stitched hearts and it has little diamond dots in the center. On the left side, we have this adorable little lollipop can. It has all different types of lollipops in all shapes and colors. And then we have this adorable chocolate dipped strawberry here on the bottom and then I finished it off with this stitched heart and more flowers. In the center you can see it is a shaker. Here's a closer look at my project. I just love the way this bow looks and these gems. Here's a closer look at these decadent desserts. I just want to eat them. They look so delicious. And then on the left hand lower side, you can see these wonderful cake lollipops and the strawberries. And of course, the beautiful sequin mix in the center. Here's the side and here's the back. I love the way this looks. Now, I wanted to show you what I included on the inside. And so you just unhook these little tabs here on the side. And I filled it with this front crinkled paper, some Lindor chocolates, and a fun pair of Valentine's Day socks. These socks are so cute. Before I show you my second box, I wanted to show you the socks that I included. I ordered these on Amazon. It's called Chick Box, and I love the cute packaging. You've got these little Valentine glasses, and it says love. This is just so perfect for Valentine's Day. Now you get eight socks, and these come up mid-calf, but they're very nice quality socks, and they're, they were fairly reasonable. And there are eight pairs, so I'm going to be giving out about six pairs, and the rest I'm going to keep for myself. 
this is my second project and I love the way this one turned out too. I can't decide if I like the chocolate kiss version or this version. The paper collection that I used for this project is by Graphic 45. It's called Love Notes. Now both this paper as well as the Minte Chocolate Kiss are available at ASC Craft Supplies. On the top here, I have this red foil double looped bow and I've included this little diamond iridescent heart in the center. On the right, I've done a lot of fussy cutting. We've got this beautiful rose here. I've added this three-dimensional butterfly, the postage stamps, another red gem heart here, as well as these beautiful roses. These are all from Graphic 45. In the center, we have the Valentine banner, and I have this layered with gold foil, the red and white stripe, and you get these little hearts in the banner collection. I've cut them out in black and then added these tiny gemstones. On the bottom, we have a large postage stamp as well as more beautiful roses that I fussy cut from the paper collection. And then I've just created this beautiful cluster of roses. We've got another red heart gem and then this glitter rose. And here, this is also a shaker. You can see the fun shaker elements here. On the back, I have added more beautiful fussy cutting with the roses and then the posted stamp, which Graphic 45 is popular for. Another red gem heart, more beautiful roses on the side, and this word Galantine is from the Scrap Diva Designs Valentine Sentiments. Now in this box, I've also included candy and socks, so I'm not going to open it up. Here's another view of my beautiful Valentine gift boxes by Scrap Diva Designs. Hopefully I've inspired you with new and creative ideas. If you like this video, please take a moment to give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment because I love to hear from you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will be sure to include all of the coupon links and discount codes in the description box below. If you'd like to see a tutorial of how I assembled these boxes, please leave a message for me in the comment section. Please be sure to join me tomorrow for my next My Favorite Valentine Crafts. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now and happy crafting.